Today is a good day, yeah? Today is a bloody good day, right? So I've woken up, haven't I? And I'm like, you know what? Today is going to be actual dog stanglers because I don't have to go down the old house today. You know what I mean? I've gone, don't have to talk myself up. I can just chillax at my own gaff in my tracking and trainers. Wicked. And um, down the old house, Minister? Yeah, I don't have to sit on their monkey green benches and listen to an old load of old dribble. Oh, oh, you're referring to your attendance at the House of Commons. I understand, ma'am. And um, and it is dribble, by the way, not dribble. <laughs> Some of them MPs is busting a gut to get themselves back down the house after the recess. Muppets, not me. I'm self-immolating. Don't do me constituents no good if I was to come down with the old colonial 19, do it. No, I've got the Zoom Zoom, Fly Me to the Moon app on my tablet, so I'm sorted communication-wise. And I'm on... Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, and oh, Tinder, of course. So social media-wise, I'm not hashtag all over it. But um, there are no restrictions in place regarding attendance at the Commons any longer, and you have no symptoms, nor have you tested positive. So they don't know that, yeah? Anyway, they're all barking down there. You should hear them in the old chamber pot. They keep banging on about, let me make it clear, on and on, as I made it quite clear to the house. Yeah, right. About as clear as frigging cow dung, mate. See what I've done there? I never used the word shit, because that ain't parliamentary language, is it, right? <laughs> Highly laudable, ma'am. Are you taking the wee-wee, Matthew? See, I never say the word piss, neither. <laughs> <laughs> Hurrah for you, Minister. They just talk gobbledygook, but they call it parliamentary language yesterday i only got a facetime off your actual chief whip haven't i straight up he's gone where is your report for the select committee on youth culture in the inner in city and i'm like you're having a giraffe ain't ya i'm gonna shoot the breeze of any youth at this moment in time when there's a pandemic on why haven't you noticed you plonka so he's gone all la -de da you know what i mean and he goes no miss churchill i'm serious the chairman expected your report yesterday so i'm like yesterday we was in recess i'm looking at him I made a funny, but he ain't even cracked one, you know what I mean? He's gone, this is your final warning, Miss Churchill, I'm not going to tell you again. So I've given him the finger, <gasps> but he's already led it. So what does he expect me to do? Lay down and let him walk all over me? <laughs> a lie down, Minister. Lay is, is past tense. <laughs> and um, why do you begin every sentence with the word so? Um, it is an adverb or an adjective or, or even a pronoun, depending on how it's used, but it is rarely a word with which to begin a sentence in in normal speech and but you know what you really get on my breast matthew uh, i hate it when you tell me what to say i really do you know what i mean anyway so the other day i'm having a butchers out my window and i see this copper with his arm around this geezer's neck i mean that ain't social distancing right it's sore <laughs> what um you saw a policeman making an arrest it is the past tense <laughs> Whatever. See, saw. It ain't a kiddie's playground, is it? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, ma'am. Absolutely no idea what you mean. <laughs> so I open the window and I'm like, what? what are you like, Minister? Oh, yeah. What am I like? I should have said, I've gone. Well, went. <laughs> what? Minister, I think you were trying to say, I went, rather than, I have gone. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So I went, oi! Copper, you shouldn't be cuddling that fella. Uh, I beg your pardon, Minister. Um, allow me to interpret, if I may. Uh, would I be right in thinking that when you say I'm like or he's gone, uh, you actually mean I said or he said? Oh, yeah. So anyway, I'm like, what are you doing, Mister? What's that? Oh, I was merely expostulating with myself, Minister. <laughs> that is a filthy habit, Matthew. Don't do it when I'm talking to you. Anyway, I'll come over a special to talk to you. Name, about... Minister, you came over here. No, listen, I'll come here to talk to you because you've got to brief me. Yes. The Secretary of State is taking me to Downing Street this afternoon. It'll be the first for the Secretary and I. Me? To... What? Well, it, it won't be a first for I, will it? You meant to say it'll be a first for the Secretary of State and me. For God's sake, Matthew, why can't you speak the Queen's English? Where was you brought up? Brought up? I, I bet you ain't even British. <laughs> Ma'am, you leave me totally discombobulated. <laughs> aye, aye, yeah, there you go. I knew you was foreign. You're Greek, ain't you? You ain't one of them siren seekers, are ya? Now I know what they mean when they've gone, it's all Greek to me. Now, sorry, when they've went, it's 
Oh, they went. Oh, when is it? Eton and Green. Balliol College, Oxford, actually. You know what? I'm going to have a word with that Domino Cummins. He'll sort you out. We're going to have bubbles in the civil service. Bubbles? Bubble and squeak. Greek. We can't have Greek siren seekers running the country. We ain't even in the EU no more. <laughs> Quite right, Minister. And um, it's the EU, by the way. Don't put words in my mouth, Matthew. I know what I'm saying. I know EU is a donkey, right? You know what I mean? Listen, Tracy, darling. I don't give a flying fuck what you think of the European Union. And as for your briefing, you can stick it right up your ass. <sighs> oh, Matthew, that ain't parliamentary language, old boy. Do you know what you've done there? You was like, just get rid of Oh, my God, 